Hello everyone and welcome to Majestic Collectibles. As you can see, this is something uh, a little different if you've watched other videos. Uh, you haven't seen me on this side of the camera and uh, now you know why. I uh, don't know if we'll do it again or not. We'll see what happens with this video. Uh, we're here today uh, because I've gotten um, a lot of questions on how I ship stuff. You know, when I mail comic books out in particular, how I package them. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll shoot a quick video. Uh, this is probably not going to be all-inclusive, you know, uh, but I am going to do uh, an actual uh, order. So right here, this uh, Time Magazine 50th Anniversary of Superman cover. This is an actual order that just came through um, oh, probably overnight last night. So I'm going to show you how I package that and get it ready and ship it off. Uh, one of the things you'll need, I got my tape dispenser. Uh, envelopes and I'll go over these real quick I used to use these manila envelopes oh for decades actually they're very very cheap they are not very sturdy so they don't have a lot of protection of the envelope itself and I don't use these um, oh I haven't used one for months I still have a few left but I rarely if I ever use them instead uh, I went to this uh, it's the same size. These are, uh, let me put it beside each other here. So uh, they're both 9 by 12. This is manila. This is a little more of a, of a chipboard, a sturdier, uh, stiffer material. Uh, you may not be able to see it, but it's got extra rein reinforcement around the edges. And the reason I like it is because the corner protection on these envelopes is really fantastic, uh, especially compared to this. Okay, uh, it doesn't separate as far, so you can't stuff quite as many in there. Uh, with this one, you know, I could get six, eight, nine modern size comics in. Uh, probably three or four is about as thick as you can go. So it is better suited for, you know, your smaller orders, singles, doubles, uh, triple comics, and that's about it on this envelope. Uh, but I use them extensively. I picked it up off of uh, Amazon, Amazon Essentials, and I get the 100 count packs. And the 9x12s, I believe, are 30 cents a piece. I also use 10 by 13 uh, these are more for your magazine and oversized books. That's probably what we'll put the time one into. Uh, these are a little higher, probably in that 40, 45 cent a piece range. I use uh, 15 by 13 and also 18 by 13. These are for your larger magazines, life magazines here, and these are like your pre-war supersized magazines here. So I don't use these a lot. Uh, these I use quite a bit, sell a lot of life-size magazines, and these are the most popular right here, the 9x12 and the 10x13. Uh, very economical if you get uh, 100 counts. Uh, the only one you can't get 100 count on is the 18. They only come in 10 packs, and they're probably close to a dollar a piece now, so they are a little pricey. Uh, I don't use them much, okay? Uh, so it's no big deal. Uh, usually if I do sell it, it's probably a $25 and up magazine, so I don't worry about the cost on that too much. Um, something else, I have just a really sharp razor knife. And I get, this is just uh, leftover cardboard. Now, here in uh, the town I live in, they have a community cardboard drop-off, and that's for larger pieces of cardboard. Uh, appliances, furniture, things of that nature. Uh, and it has been a gold mine for finding large panel double walled cardboard. I uh, usually have to cut it up, uh, so there's a little effort into it, uh, but it's free other than that. If you go buy the cardboard padding on Amazon or eBay, and you can get those, uh, they're very expensive. You will spend a lot of money on that. So this is a very economical way to do it. Requires a little more work, but the cost uh, to me is worth it. So that's what I use there. So I'm going to go ahead just really, really quick and show you how I do this. So this is how I'm going to do this. And I've, I've been doing this for, oh my gosh, since 1986. So I'm as old as I look. Um, 
this doesn't have to be super duper neat or straight and I'll show you I just leave maybe a quarter inch or so around the border of the uh, of the book and I just take a couple pieces of tape and uh, I'm not used to doing this for the camera so it's a little bit awkward for me here let me get this up big enough there we go so what I'm going to do tape the sides here and I actually get the tape off Amazon too. I buy that uh, in bulk a case at a time. Um, again, pretty economical way to do it. I'm going to trim this just, just a little bit. That was a little crooked. And you can see now that's half of the cardboard sandwich, okay? So we're going to go do another piece here. And let me grab... Oh, that's a little too small. So I'm going to go uh, cut here and grab another piece of cardboard so I can get this packaged up right. A few moments later. Okay, here we go. Got uh, got a couple more pieces of cardboard here. Uh, you can see it's just a panel. I don't even know what it was from. You know, somebody dropped it off at the re, uh, recycling point, and uh, I just picked it up. Uh, this is what you're really looking for is double walled, nice, thick, sturdy cardboard if you really want stuff to get there in one piece these days. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's free, and I just take the scraps back, so whatever's left over, left over from the... Uh, the panel, I just take it back to the recycling center so it does get does get recycled. And you're going to use a lot of cardboard. So if you're selling comics and magazines and things on eBay, uh, a panel like this, uh, you might do six comics if you got any magazines in there, maybe four. Uh, let me see, I'll get that halfway straight. So you can you can burn through a lot of cardboard really quick. And always make sure you have a good solid sharp uh, razor knife. Uh, it dulls up in a hurry on the um, double-sided stuff, on the double-sided cardboard. And uh, I'm constantly just cutting those uh, snipping those blades off, um, making them shorter so you can get to the sharp stuff because it doesn't take long. So I got tape here. I'm going to add tape here, but I'm going to trim this side up. This side's a little rough, so we'll make it, we'll make it look a little nicer. Presentation, I think, is very important when you're mail order. Um, you know, I had somebody... <laughs> I had somebody ship me comic books in a Wheaties box. They just put uh, box tape on the ends of the Wheaties box. Didn't even put the box in paper or anything. Just slapped a label on it. And I can't remember. It was one of the athletes. Ken Griffey Jr. box or something. Uh, yeah, don't do that. You know, if you want to do this professionally, um, appearance does matter on it. So I'm going to take my 10 by 13 envelope and put it in there and this is not going to be a light package uh, on magazines and golden age comics uh, you can get to a pound uh, of weight in a real hurry um, so it's one of those things if I had to double ship this magazine it would go w right over the uh, the one pound weight limit um, for the first class postage okay so just be aware of that I like these this is a self seal you just pull it and I'll just push that down there and it's almost ready to go now so very nice clean straight the other thing I always recommend um, I've got these these are off eBay uh, no I'm sorry Amazon and I think there's seven bucks per thousand it's a roll of uh, stickers that says handle with care do not bend and those are really good so I just put one one up here in the corner like that 
and then I put uh, take another one of these and just put it on the back there and then I go ahead and weigh it up and print the shipping label and it's ready to go uh, so it doesn't take real long you'll get really really quick at it um, when you when you do it a few times it doesn't take you long to, to figure it out uh, but something like this these envelopes you can if you squeeze them there's just a little bit of room and these corners are really sturdy um, I never had a lot of problems before using using the manila ones uh, but these I rarely like once a year get maybe a complaint on a ding corner on a comic or magazine um, it's really really rare if you put the cardboard in and pack it right in these envelopes you have to be very very rough with them uh, to do any any hardcore damage to the contents uh, so I really like them now there's one more thing I'm gonna cover we'll do another video on this uh, how do you ship some higher price stuff and then I use one of these you might recognize that if you've ordered off eBay or even from uh, me uh, that's a Gemini shipper and uh, this is the original company I believe is the Gemini and then BCW uh, also makes uh, their version of this they're a little different and we'll pack up uh, a comic and I'll show people how to do this because I get a lot of questions on oh my gosh how do you fold these things it looks like an origami puzzle stuff like that um, so check out future videos probably have that up I don't know in a week or so and uh, that's it um, hopefully this helped uh, folks a little bit please uh, leave leave me any questions or comments regarding the uh, the shipping the envelopes the supplies uh, whatever you want I'll be happy to shoot more videos if you have more questions on how to do this and check out our upcoming videos we should have a whole series of these things I'm going to be talking about CGC CGC comics selling comics on eBay uh, packaging if we need more packaging information I'm going to do that on the the two um, mailers here the comic mailers the Gemini and the BCW kind of do a comparison video so we'll have a bunch of fun stuff coming up check it out and thanks for watching